happy Who year and welcome to Who Corner to Corner. My name's Jeff and uh, I'm sure you know that by now and I'm joined as always by my good friend Paul over there. How are yes. you? Yes, hi, hello, I'm good. Happy New Year, who, happy who year to you Jeff as well. And, <laughs> and to you as well. <laughs> for now, we've got Ho 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 for Corner not. to Corner at Christmas and yeah. Happy Who Year. Uh, we're uh, hijacking all the uh, yeah. holidays. <laughs> we can make the most of this if we can. Yes, we will, yeah. So um, this is our first uh, full episode <gasps> of 2024, so yes. very exciting. Hello. Uh, we're here, and we're, here. Um, we're just going to talk today, uh, well, the, the uh, title of this episode is New Year, New Who, uh, so we're going to have a bit of a discussion about, um, well, what 2024 might hopefully hold for we shall see. Doctor Who we shall see how that discussion fandom. plays out. Um, but first of all, uh, we'd like to say thank you very much to everyone who listened to our audio dramas that we did oh, over yes. Christmas and New Year. Um, it was great fun working on those. Uh, probably should schedule the workload a bit better. <laughs> yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. Is... You're saying that now, but I remember when you when you were going through this, oh my God, I'm never going to get it yeah. finished. It's never going to sound as good as I want it. I didn't stay up till half one on uh, of course most not. nights of the no. week of Christmas doing them. No. Um, <laughs> So uh, when I could have been playing Avatar game, <laughs> um, but the uh, Christmas Day one, uh, Christmas Crime was written by myself um, and starred Katie Haynes as the Thirteenth yeah. Doctor uh, and Emily Beach as Yaz. So apparently people uh, are confused and actually think it's Mandip. She has really that good an impression. Like Mandip, um, uh, yeah, she's brilliant. brilliant. Um, yeah, Do- yeah. Uh, Dom, who listens to us, uh, messaged yesterday and she she said, "Wait." Who's reading? Who's reading Yaz? <laughs> and, and I said it's Emily. I said, you did, did yeah. you think it was Mandip? She said, well, I, I wasn't sure. I didn't think so, but I thought I'd, I'd check. Um, and uh, you you did uh, some voices in that, uh, and Freya, your daughter, did as well. She did. Yeah, uh, she was up for that. Uh, she and was one great. Of her rare good moods. Yeah, so yeah. Made the most of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we had some brilliant uh, poster artwork by oh, Kelly Rosen fantastic. as well. So yeah. that's been very well received. And then we had uh, If Winter Comes, which was written by Kelly uh, Lucy McCall. Yeah. Uh, and um, we had some poster art by uh, mm. Owen, who's a uh, Whovian life. Uh, Owen did a fantastic and, um, job on that. He did a lovely really, job really there. Good. And um, he was very patient as well because um, we did, I say we, it's probably me, so sorry, <laughs> Owen. Uh, suddenly, suddenly got feedback right at the end after he'd done all yeah. the work, I was and then like, this it, it is lands great. across my Hang desk, on. and I'm like, "Oh, I just change that. You can change that and do that and yeah. do this, that." So sorry, <laughs> Owen, but it's it's astonishingly good, mate. Really, yeah, it really. It looks thank great. you so much for producing yeah. that. Uh, and that one was voiced. If you're by still Katie. listening to us, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, ho- hopefully, yeah, he, he didn't get cheesed off. Uh, and that was Katie, Emily, uh, and L.E.D. Davis yeah. as well doing that. Really one. good story. Uh, I enjoyed that yeah, one. Yeah, a bit, bit mm. darker, that one. So, yeah, thank you. And, um, yeah, the feedback has been great. And um, don't, if if you uh, enjoyed them, don't worry, we are working on some more things. Can we do we? some more? Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, a lot of fun. So that's very exciting. So... We've obviously uh, just had the church on Ruby Road, which is the mm-hmm. first uh, full episode of Shooty Get was 15th Doctor wow. and our introduction to Millie Gibson's uh, Ruby Tuesday, Ruby Sunday. Uh, and um, we did our review episode for it, which came out last week, uh, and we enjoyed it very much. So it's um, it's quite an exciting year ahead, really. You know, We've yeah. got a, a new series starting in May. Um mm. Is it eight or ten episodes? I'm not quite sure. I think it's um, eight. Is it eight episodes? Yeah, I think, I think it I might think be, they yeah. Cut, they cut it down to eight, don't they? Think about they cut can it down. do and a better know, job c- with fewer. You know, so they look yeah, better. Yeah, I kind of don't mind that. You know, if, if they no, get I'm given a budget it. allocation mm. and they you know, spread it across fewer episodes, you're spending more per episode, therefore, you know, it'll look uh, you know, more spectacular. Yeah, so, I, I, sorry, go on. Yeah, that's fine with me. You know? mm, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think again. I think Stranger Things is only about eight episodes, isn't it? Mm. Uh, most I things recall. are these days. Are... Usually between eight, eight and ten episodes, or twelve yeah. at the most. I think twelve is kind of a luxury in some ways now, isn't it? Where it's, y- you know, yeah. when you think of like the old, like the, you know, the CW shows like um, Arrow and the Flash, and mm. you know, all those sort of things, and and 
you know, they 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 would run for like twenty odd episodes, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah. I mean, same with Buffy, Buffy and Angel, and, which is your, your yeah, thing. Smallville, all of those. That was the yeah, thing. all but of I think, that. And I um, think the landscape is changing now, though. You know, you, yeah. I think we said previously, like Sopranos, I think was only twelve, thirteen episodes a series. Uh, mm. Game of Thrones was ten. Obviously, Stranger Things, I think, is eight or ten. I'll probably have to double check that, but it's not. It's, yeah. You know, it's not. It's not the quantity. It's. It really does seem to be the quality. You know, because I think yeah. a lot of those twenty-two plus episodes long seri- series um, would vary a lot. You know, there'd be a real peaks and troughs in terms of the yeah, yeah the, the quality. And and those kind of shows, you know, they're really good, of course, but it, it's not like prestige TV, which which mm. these shorter series, higher budget it's a bit things more of a are. Factory output, isn't it? Y- yeah, it's you know, it's churn. a lot of the, the same sets and mm. you know interior filming and, yeah. and stuff like that. You know, um, and you know, there's still a lot of shows done like that. Bo, you know, Bones was Castle. Mm. Um, you know, uh, Grey's Anatomy and all that kind of yeah, stuff. But they're, but they're, they're, very they're finished much, now, aren't they? They're, they're not. They're not going on. They anymore. are. Yeah. So um, that's what I mean. That yeah, whole thing yeah. now seems to have changed. And of course, those mm. dramas were pretty much. I mean, yeah, there'd be some sort of series arc, I think, but most of the shows will be standalone episodes, wouldn't they? Fit yes, in between yeah. the kind of arc, and you may get a pickup right at the end of one of those episodes, which leads into the the ongoing mm. story, but might not even be picked up in the next episode at all. It might be three or four episodes down the line before. Yeah. You see anything anything further moving and then it's all towards the last three episodes of that of that season mostly yeah. whereas if we get eight or ten strong episodes that are more tightly knitted together whether they're mm. standalone or whether they're there's a series arc threaded through them i think that that for me i i personally i mean i'm not saying give me 22 episodes of doctor who and i'm gonna hate it of course not give me 22 no. episodes of doctor who yeah and i'm probably gonna love it you know but i think if you can give me eight really good quality doctor who episodes i'm not going to be disappointed at all no I, I think it's the way of it now for you know kind of mm. high concept shows you know the the bigger stuff that's not a you know hospital procedure or, or something yeah just that. Have to think for that. Just do it do a thing I concept shows. Mm. I'm going to we'll see. edit no, that in no, now. Yeah. Over. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward to the new series. I read mm. uh, a little bit about what the first uh, episode um, theme might be. Have you? Is it in? Yeah. Is it I, in I don't know. here in this I, this this month's new ep- new issue of Doctor Who magazine, which has just landed on my desk. I haven't read it. Yet. I've literally just just got in the house about an hour ago. And, picked it up so is there i haven't been home yet so uh oh, it's about the boogeyman apparently the boogeyman. or a boogeyman is it so it does seem like they're going uh you know a little bit more fantasy this this uh, season which is which is quite exciting uh, so is, is it so. a thing that the 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 kind of the realm to the toy maker once opened has not been fully closed behind him is that is that a thing because that, that, that was a vibe um, i kind of picked up because right at the end of um the the giggle, right? The, the the doctor, our new our new doctor, Doctor Fifteen, picks up a big mallet from the TARDIS floor, doesn't he? Yeah, thinking yeah. because the, the 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 weird, strange logic, the kind of physic bending logic that uh, that the toy maker brought with him, has uh, has kind of led to some weird stuff happening. You know, hence the bioregeneration thing and stuff like that. But. Yes, I think it's probably something like mm. that. Um, because you know, it was all some... about him going to the end of the universe in a wild yeah. blue yonder and, and putting that line of salt in or something, wasn't it? And something yeah. kind of stepped through. So maybe not just the toy maker, but whatever the toy maker is afraid of and yeah. whoever is responsible for that giant hand picking up his tooth at the end of the giggle. Yes, could be. That's maybe why there was goblins. Mm. Got indeed, yeah. yeah, the same sort of thing. Yeah. Goblins straight out of a kind of a, a steampunk nineteen eighties child film, or like, well, Goonies, yeah. wasn't it? That's why I can't say it reminded um, me of Gremlins and a, stuff like that. Yeah, it's a bit like Labyrinth. There's a T-shirt. Labyrinth, that you can definitely, get of yeah, the very much King. on their vibes. Mm. And uh, it's written in the Labyrinth logo. Welcome, Goblin King, or something. It says. So yeah, it's quite yeah. Cool. Just not David um, Bowie though. 
So. Uh, yeah, no, it's quite a bit uglier than mm. uh, Bowie, that, that Goblin King. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was very much um, Jabba the Hutt style, wasn't it? Yeah, really, that's more like really it. Really sort of yeah. playing on that. Except I'd yeah. probably argue Jabba the Hutt had a bit more character because we knew more of him. Cause the Goblin King was literally just there to get spiked, yeah. to provide you know a big mouth for the babies to, to be thrown into, I guess, mm. and for the Doctor to save said babies, Doctor and Ruby to save said babies, yeah. and then to get spiked in a grisly manner at the end. Yes, a bloodless. Um, interesting, <laughs> I did just read, uh, I don't know where yeah. it came from, but RTD saying that there was um, a sequence where the Goblin King came to Ruby's flat and chased them around. Oh, um, really? And they, oh, my they goodness, cut it. that would have been they cut, for, um, they cut it for budget reasons. Yeah, I can imagine um, it would be quite you know, difficult to do. So, yeah, uh, you know, so even though they've got more money, mm. you know, they still can't do everything, you know. Um, yeah, and I think also it's about sometimes with, with these sort of stories is thinking, where is the story? So if you are going to cut something, you've got you to stay focused on the story you're you're trying to tell and i think whilst with a lot of fantasy and sci-fi shows there's always a temptation to give the big scale epic or the big monsters and spend all the money and time on that but sometimes if you do too much of that then the story gets lost i think mm. in you know in all the all the kind of glamour and glitter and stuff you know all the yeah. all the surface detail which is which needs to be there because because you know, without goblins, it's just any other show, really, right? That, yes. that episode, it, it's more of a kitchen sink type drama. So yeah. it need it does need that, but nonetheless, the heart and soul of the story, that story for me, is all about the Doctor and Ruby meeting, getting to know each mm. other, getting to work their way through an adventure together, and deciding that you know they they they're, they're going to continue you know sort of having adventures and yeah. meet the family and have a little bit of peril along the way, which is always which is always the fun of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's you know, yeah, you you can, uh, you, you you know, you could put stuff in that's unnecessarily, you know, it's fun, but it doesn't mm. kind of serve anything. And and when, you know, your time is restricted, like it is on the show, you know, you you have to be, uh, um, what's the word? Judicious. Maybe you just have to that's use the word, really that. best stuff. So. I'll just just say it here. I've got the word judicious written across my <laughs> computer screen. Use this word today, Paul. Judicious. You know? But then you word, think as well. You know, the, the trouble is if you cut too much in a way. It's like, and I know you're not a fan of that sequence in Rose with the uh, the, the burping wheelie bin. But nonetheless, mm. it's things like that that people remember, isn't it? That you yeah. know, when you're growing up, if that was your first Doctor Who, you will remember the burping wheelie bin that ate Mickey. And you'll yeah. go down your street the following day and see all these wheelie bins. You know, what I mean, if you're like five, six year old at that sort of time, then. yeah. You know, and 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 it's important not to lose sight of that. So, despite everything I said, had we had a Goblin King chasing Ruby and Fam around the kitchen on the on on that episode, that would have been what it would be remembered for. But yeah, yeah you're right. If you've got limited limited time, the thing I think you have to do as a program maker yeah. is it, focus on the story and tell that story. Uh, yeah, absolutely. If they'd had that sequence, it would have been great fun, I'm sure. But mm. you know, it, it would have been, been someone in a rubber suit, wouldn't it? Really, with a bit of CGI added, or it, yeah, it could have looked awful. Though, it, it? it could have done, and maybe there was an element yeah. of, of that. You know, the big rubber, um, you know, Goblin King could have looked looked awful. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to the new series. I'm, mm. I'm kind of hoping for some some fantasy and and um, you know, obviously sci-fi and and uh, you know high energy from Shooty. He just you know he seems great. Uh, you know, it's yeah. really uh, you know vibrant. I think is is mm. the word. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to spending more time with his his doctor. Um, so yeah I, yeah, I was thinking a bit about other stuff that's you know mm. uh, you know happening this year. And um, you know we talked before about Big Finish and uh, you know the the ton of stuff. Uh, you know, coming from them. A ton of stuff. Yeah, um, absolute wedge of it. Uh, I know our friend Joe Ford listens to uh, an awful lot of Big Finish stuff. Well, he kind of um, has to now. He's he's kind of dug that hole for himself, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's got to keep going on it, yeah. Um, <laughs> Good I haven't, on you, Joe. I haven't listened to anything um, mm. in a while just because I can't get through it all quick enough. But I, I, am I was listening to one today, to, actually. I'll tell you about oh, that. Oh, really? Go on. Yeah, go on. Okay. Go on. I was just saying, I'm hoping that um, this year we'll hear uh, the return of... Uh, sixth Doctor, Mrs. Constance Clark, uh, and Ooh. maybe even Flip as well. Oh, let's um, get because, that storyline finished off, yeah? Yeah. Um, you know, anyone who's listened to us before will know I really mm. like that 
TARDIS trio, and um, we spoke to Miranda Raisin about this time last year, uh, and she t- oh, wow. was said she was going ago? into the studio to record, um, mm. but obviously Lisa Greenwood uh, was poorly, but I do believe she was uh, recording recently uh, for something, so maybe... Um, that, you know there'll be something coming out with them so i'm looking forward to that and i think at some point the um fugitive doctor uh story set will be coming out as well mm-hmm. so it should be quite good see see what's going on there um and i had been really enjoying the unit uh unit series but uh, um, yeah, you said you like that. yeah. yeah i th- i think because uh, there's obviously constant rumors about uh, a unit spin-off show um I think the audios have kind of been knocked on the head for mm. for now. Oh, and talking of spin-offs, uh, the the rumor was that the war between the land and the sea, which is a pr- pretty lame title, if I'm honest, uh, was. Uh, it's probably just a working title. Well, I would hope it it is. It's just it's clunky. It's big. Uh, it's not particularly sort of exciting, even though like you mm. know what, know what us true. fans, you know, we know what it mm. could be, but as a Show name, I don't think it's terribly exciting. Uh, don't know, is it not in the, in the kind of realms of, you know, uh, was it Shadow and Bone and yeah. stuff like that? So that's like the overall, you know, The Lord of the Rings. Is well, maybe that's what title. they'll do. They'll, it will be, you know, Sea Devils on Holiday, uh, The War Between Land and Sea. Or no, something, like, what know? I mean is like the War Between Land and Sea, it's the War Between Land and Sea saga or something. Yes, yeah, that, that's what I mean. It's yeah. just individual. It'll, it'll be, uh, yeah. Maybe that's what they'll do, but um, you know, be interesting to see what they do. Market. Um, maybe that's the unit spin-off uh, that they're going to do, and it will focus on you know mm. uh, classic villains. Like we we text yesterday, didn't we? And you know, the villains in the show are great, but I sort of feel that they are so intrinsically linked with the Doctor that I'm not sure them without the Doctor would hold my attention enough mm. you know but then might be quite interesting to see what their you know their worlds are a bit more like and, and what they do uh, you know their their um you know adventures and mis- you know misadventures and stuff like that so i i would think that they wouldn't go into something like that without obviously a plan and the knowledge that you know it should work and mm. it should appeal so you know we'll we'll see but it's exciting to think that something's coming you know like that and uh I wonder yeah. when they'll announce it. We'll see what happens, yeah. Because I, 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 the first I heard about this potential spin-off idea was, I think you put a tweet out or something, or you texted me, didn't you? And I'm saying, what spin-off? Well, sea Devils? What? What? Y- yeah. So that, because that's where this comes from, right? It's If you haven't heard about it, there's rumours or something leaked or something somewhere. Yeah, that the, the Sea Devils might was, be getting um, their own spin-off series. Yeah, I, I think the title was... <clears> um, I think somebody found it on Company's house as a oh yeah yeah you know, something a, like that and then yeah. loads of other people sort of got onto it and then before we knew mm. it people were putting images together and YouTube vids and all kinds it's, of stuff yeah, and it's out happening, there like, you know uh, <laughs> and someone uh, it was listed on a production news website um, mm. looking for crew or something so yeah I I guess something's happening there wouldn't be all this kind of rumbling without something you know, maybe but. Quite often there is a little smoke without any kind of fire at all, isn't there? Really, and and, yeah. and I think in in a lot of ways it, it keeps the conversation bubbling, doesn't mm. it? It keeps the the yeah. show front and center. It keeps people talking about it. And I think it's it's interesting what you're saying there actually about um, a lot of these spin-off shows because not 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 being quite the same, you know. Because and I agree with you. I, I think the Doctor is the most. You know, the Doctor is a central character within a lot of these. It's you know, the Doctor is the person who everything kind of gravitates around, and mm. the the particular energy of the Doctor, you know, the personality that they have, and the way they catalyze events in their stories, is 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 a massive part of why I I watch this show. You know, the mm. Doctor is not just any random hero. They're something quite unique. And and unpredictable and everything and you know it's, it's 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 one massive reason for the show's success. So I was kind of thinking, you know, does it apply to to the other spin-offs? And we've had a few spin-offs previously, right? We had um, Torchwood, Sarah Jane Adventures, and we had Class. Now, out of all those, I think uh, Torchwood has its fans. I'm not yeah. particularly one of them. I just thought, you know, for me, it was more 
I mean, they, they, they were pretty much all unlikable characters. I'm not saying every character has to be sympathetic, but they've got to yeah. at least gauge my interest. Yeah. And none of them were very interesting, apart from Eve Mars's character. Um, but she was quite domestic in in a lot of ways. You know, she, she could be she. You could lift Eve Mars's character and drop her into pretty much any other. TV drama, the soap, yeah. any you know, it's a soap, Coronation Street, EastEnders, Casualty, even whatever you know, and she would pretty much still be the same character. So, I didn't think that was particularly interesting. Having said that, Series Three, which is Children of Earth, I thought was astonishing. Mm. I mean, it was honestly, I thought it was one of the best examples of TV sci-fi that we've ever ever had. I don't know if you've seen it, but I think it's yeah. just extraordinary. It's where Peter Capaldi plays a Prime Minister, but That's right, that yeah. doesn't really have an awful lot to do with Torchwood, if I recall. They're kind of involved because of their, you know, of, of who they are. But again, it could be almost any kind of made-up sci-fi mm. type you know, agency that goes through the same sort of thing. So, so that it is brilliant, but it almost exists on its own for on me. On its own, yeah. Class, yeah. I'm I, again has its fans, but I, I, I didn't, I didn't get past the first episode of that one. Mm. It just wasn't, wasn't my cup of tea. But yeah, then it's not same. aimed at me. Yeah. You know, I'm an old bastard, so well, that's you know, yeah, that's something a we... much more younger demographic. But then, of course, we yeah. got the Sarah Jane Adventures, mm. which was enormously successful without yeah. the Doctor. So the Doctor only shows up at certain points. Mm. Mm. However, I think Sarah Jane kind of became the Doctor. In yes. that, in in those stories, you know, she's not the Doctor, but she's she spent enough time and has been so much influenced by the Doctor that she has a very similar kind of energy. You know, she's she's very much a catalyst for change. She also represents someone who's a little bit older, perhaps, and you know, perhaps a, is a little bit more. I'm searching for the word, not traditional, but takes you know takes um. Uh, needs to become time, needs to sometimes be pushed by the younger characters who will see things from a from a different perspective because yeah. you know they're so much younger than she, you know than, than she is. So I, I quite like that. There was a nice dynamic. Yeah, and really so good. she's like the Doctor, but not quite the Doctor. You know, she does the same sort of thing. She marches in. She instigates um, change. She 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 goes through the adventure. But she feeds a lot off the the younger characters, and they drive each other. So it's a mm. really brilliant dynamic in the Sarah Jane Adventures. But you know, so that was. But again, the the template for a lot of those stories was very much in the mold of Doctor Who, whereas yeah. Torchwood was like, yeah, it's in the Doctor Who universe, but it's not like a Doctor Who story. No, you know, it no. feels very different. And I I thought the same was to a degree with Class from the little I I saw of it. I don't know. Did yeah. you watch? Did you watch Class? I watched the first one. Uh, had a bit of a cry when uh, Doctor sees Clara's name on the board. Oh, at the end. oh was it? Um, <laughs> yeah, um, in in memoriam or something. Yeah. Um, Sad. But yeah, I mean, it, you know, <laughs> it was it was fine, and mm. it does indeed have its fans. Uh, and, and like, you yeah, said, and they're it, very passionate it, fans, and yeah, and they and love to great, see it but, back. And I yeah, hope it does they've got come more back audio, for them. and you know, um, but yeah, we're probably not, you know, it's it's target audience, no, which, which I think fine. is also important. And uh, we mm. said this before that. You know the show, the main show itself is trying to, you know, reach mm. so many people of such varied ages that you know sometimes you're going to get burping bins and sometimes you're going to get something a bit darker <laughs> and a bit more serious, you know, and yeah. um, that's you know that's what it's going to do. So, but yeah, I think um, you know a spin-off sounds exciting. Uh, mm. I'm interested to see what they do, and you know I like Kate Stewart, uh, and I think it'd be good to, you know. Enrich her character a bit and it, have it more would. of her on screen. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Kate, Kate Stewart's a, a weird one because I, I think she's great, but on the other hand, I think she's never, she's never she, really kind of been given, I, I, I don't know, like a big moment to sort of step out and own the yeah, the, the bits I, that she's in. I you think know, it's, it, um, you know, she leads the unit audios, of course. Yeah, and, um, but it, is she good? Know, it, is she good in those? Oh yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. um, you know, she's very good, but you don't ever sort of get, uh, you know, any home life or anything like that, particularly, you know. So it's just, oh, she's very yeah, much, yeah, you know, yeah. about the job and, mm. and that's it. And she cares, you know, deeply for Osgood and stuff and the rest of the team. But it's uh, there's there's not really any kind of character growth or anything like that, mm, particularly. Yeah. You know, it's it's very kind of static and you know m moving. Just constant in the which, same which, way, yeah. You know, which, which does which sound a bit like telly. Yeah, just yeah. It sounds like a character, isn't it? She is 
quite static in a way. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's she's quite she's got an authority about her, which which I like. And yeah. There's no there's no kind of messing with her. And when she switches to her ice, you know, the ice face on, a yeah. game face, it's not to be messed with. Mm. But we don't see much outside of that, really. You know, we're already no. at high pitch, and she goes up a bit, but we don't. Yeah. We don't ever feel like we see the real Kate Stewart, which would be quite no. interesting. Yeah, we got it, close it in be, flux, yeah. didn't we? When um, but all we saw was her house being blown up. So we, it, we saw yeah. a house, and then we saw it being blown yeah. up. And, and then yeah, they've, it. they've destroyed the home life, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kate Stewart's home life, no, you don't need to know that. Yeah, Let's it, blow yeah. it up! <laughs> <laughs> Boom! So, yeah, I'm looking forward to you know seeing whatever that might be. Mm. Uh, and um, uh, so I saw the other day that there's, well, rumoured um, Doctor Who Barbie figures coming oh, out really? which i think is quite cool because it shows you know that mm. you know the show is a big thing and you know you wouldn't have stuff like this happening and, and doctor crossovers who in yeah and would they and have a thought, doctor who ken that could well it was um it? ken as um well, it, would, it would be shooty uh yeah. you know but he, he would be the ken as it were he'd be know, the ken I but guess. he's the doctor so yeah so but, which but would they imply did, um, barbie so would barbie would the barbie doctor be ken A.K.A. Barbie, A.K.A. Yeah. Ken, the Doctor, just go uh, round in some kind of weird um, sort of. But they did, um, <laughs> they did Jody Barbie, uh, yeah. you know, and um, I think there's a Fortnite game uh, thing coming out as well, and right. uh, there's keeps being Lego set rumours and stuff. So do you know what, what I mean? Doctor like Who they, Fortnite. Yeah, not uh, Barbie. Doctor did, Who Fortnite. No, Doctor okay. Who. So Fortnite. you moved on from Barbie. I was getting yeah, confused sorry, now. But, so uh, it just it what kept adding in my brain. <laughs> so we have Barbie, we have Doctor Who, we have Fortnite. Now it's it's all part of one kind of multi-commercial one multiverse. Mess. Yeah, mm, but with Disney my, thrown in for good measure. My point is that you know they wouldn't be doing this stuff if the show wasn't big enough. You know. Yeah, they they might also be just trying to cash in on stuff while it's still hot maybe while it's still while it's still a bit of a bit of an unknown in a way that's my well, sound weird but i mean yes. by unknown i mean what the next phase of doctor who yeah. enterprise is going to be like yeah. you know obviously it's, it's a whole new era with this you know we we have a new doctor we it's been produced by bad wolf it's been you know got partnership with disney and sony and god knows who else and there are clearly plans afoot to do something so this mm. is untested waters now mm. really so it could just be firing all kinds of things off and seeing what sticks yes it, there could be an element of that but i still don't think that you know things would happen like this if there wasn't a belief in in it you know as yeah, a maybe overall yeah, yeah. but you yeah. know time will obviously tell but um mm. yeah that's exciting i'm excited to see what um he's excited look at his little face there he's excited uh, look at that excited face those little chubby <laughs> cheeks that <laughs> smile those brilliant white teeth look at that gorgeous jeff <laughs> so i just couldn't resist that you know I think, I think we should record your excitement for posterity that, that's all i'm doing there yeah, yeah, maybe not. Um, I was going to say I'm uh, excited to see what other uh, mm -hmm. you know figures and things are coming out as well. You know, the, yeah, the, see, um, I don't really get in with those so much. It's not really no, my cup of tea. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, so I know, yes, I know it's not. And I mean, um, you know, we know some people. Like, I think Aiden has quite a large number of, of the figures, and I've got the the Thirteenth uh, Doctor ones and a handful of others at home, and they you know they're great. But mm. um, you know, I'm sort of. You know, always I always have a look out to see what gets released and to see what I might like to add to the collection. Yeah, yeah you know, I was. Um, yeah. I do quite like to get, uh, y you know, a figure of of a doctor. You know, Damn. I've I've got uh, I've got ten and eleven, and I think mm. I've got twelve, and I've got um, thirteen and fourteen. So you know, I've got to get fifteen at, yeah, at some know. point. That's um, a problem. That's probably why I don't get involved in it actually, because I know that once I start, I won't be able to stop. It's like well, it's, you know, I'll, I'll do the DVDs and the Blu-rays, mm. and you know that did get far with the audios but the I, th I think with me it's yeah the blu-rays the collection box sets mm -hmm. and and the target novels that's i mean the target that's, novels that's has thing, always yeah. been my my kind of thing with dr yeah. Who and, and I'm, i'll tell you what actually i mean just on that it's kind of amazing that we're still getting those you yeah. know what i mean it, it I, I know again we've had them for you know they the target range has been back for a few years now right but and but when the modern series came out, we've had a few different attempts at getting Doctor Who 
books out, they've always been based on original stories, haven't mm. they? And of course, mm. the thing about the Target books is they're based on the televised stories, which mm. in some ways is is a little bit more exciting for me. It kind of makes them canon, if you know what I mean. It's weird, right? Yeah. We've all got our own idea uh, of what I canon love the, is. But... Um, the the original stories, and I was going to say, you know, hopefully mm. they'll do some of those for for Shooty, uh, and um, you know, there there must be another range of of a wave of targets coming. Um, well, we've got the you know. the sixtieth anniversary specials coming out, haven't we? Um, yeah, and we've got the book, the novelization of the Church on Ruby Road, yeah, which is in a hardback cover. So I don't know if yep. they're planning to do a Target version of that. A bit I, later I guess on. they will do at some point. I think I it's so. quite. Uh, it's quite amazing that those episodes have only just gone out, and mm. um, you know, there's the the books and stuff. Yeah. I wonder if. Well, again, um, like you said, they they wouldn't be doing this unless they they kind of knew that there was a there was a market for it. it yeah, if exactly. It's be big because because yeah. you've got to invest to do that, right? Yes. And yeah, I mean, I guess actually, I mean, the tar- the, the kind of researched target novels are, are good enough. They're performing well enough that you know BBC Books is is happy to continue producing them so that that's all yeah. a good thing um but we, yeah we have seen a bit of a slowdown on original novels haven't mm, we i think mm. which um, yeah th- there hasn't been anything mm. uh, what do we have we had uh, we had sophie aldred's book didn't we uh, yeah that Charles was a few Zen. years ago now um have we had one since then i can't remember now no because previously they did three original stories mm. per series of the show but we didn't get any for series 12 or, or flux yeah. uh, era and i think i'd i'd read that they wanted to um be- because there were so many secrets in series 12 and and surprises mm. and all that kind of stuff they didn't want to they wanted to sort of have the focus on that rather than having you know a lot of peripheral stuff as well um which you know is fine but I suppose um, it makes sense you know yeah, I get it. Um, you know, it's just nice to get the books. So, yeah, hopefully this year we might get a few more. Um, and, and I know that Titan Comics are starting up uh, mm. the 15th Doctor uh, series. Um, <laughs> May, May I think it'll start. So Is that'd it? be good. Yeah. Um, See if they bring the they... 10th Doctor in to give him a hand. At well, some point. yeah, that, that feels a bit like the... Um, the the spectre looming over everything you know <laughs> Do- doctor 1.0 is is still out there and um you know i, I wonder if the spin-off show rumors for that would were true or if there'll be oh, audios what, the, or the, the 14th doctor mm. what getting get his own crime drama sunday Tuesday well actually it was um there was a fake i think it was fake poster going around partners in crime with, with tenant and oh. uh, Tate on it you know and had disney plus on it and everything and oh, you know dear. i'm pretty sure it's not real but no um, no, no no you know no. but i you um, can't see it though can't you if yeah you're really cynical I, you can see that happening but yeah yeah mm. um but yeah i hope that um titan restart their 13th doctor series and and you know i don't know if they'll do what they did previously where every mm. doctor had an ongoing series each month oh, right. it was a hell of a lot of stuff but um mm. you know maybe they'll do a you know, an event again that that brings some of yeah. them together or something. So either way, they're they're going again. So that's really good. Um, mm. I'm pleased to see that. Um, and I was going to say with like figures and stuff, I wonder if Funko might start their oh, range right. up again because they haven't done anything for years. They got part way through doing all the old mm. doctors. It'd be nice if they pick that up again. I know there's quite a lot of people desperate for a Yaz, um, but you know, I need to desperate add six E. To, yeah. to my uh, collection, but um, Funko. Funko. like you said, if if you started collecting things, you you wouldn't stop. And um, I tend to, like that. you know, if it's something I like, so I limit it to discs and books. That's it. Yeah, and that's that's fair enough. And um, I I would usually get uh, you know a handful of things out of a, a wave. You know, I wouldn't mm. buy every Funko in a in a drop that they did or something. You know, um, I'd just get one or two maybe. You know, gotcha. I see. I understand. Yes. Try to control it, um, and then um, <laughs> control that urge. Y- yeah. <laughs> Jeff, you in, bad boy, put that back on the shelf. God damn you! What's the yeah, matter I, with I, you? I, you I don't need keep, that uh, thing. You got a hundred at home already. Well, that's kind of it, really. Mm. And um, you know, also it's it's just space. You know, yeah. where, you know where do you put it? Or, where are you, you going to put it? Yeah. We got a mortgage to pay as well. Yeah. <laughs> already. <laughs> so yeah, you have to be uh, somewhat careful with it, mm. you know. Um, another thing I hope that we might see this year is um, another uh, set of um, 
uh, magic cards as well. Oh yeah, magic. Which, uh, I, I know you're not uh, too too keen it's on. Too complicated for me, man. Um, I, I haven't got enough time in a day to learn all them rules. Yeah, no. If, I, if I'd have started when I was ten enough. years old, maybe. But now there's just not enough room in the brain for for me to accommodate all of that. Y- yeah, it does. Um, you know, is quite complicated and takes. Up, I mean, and, uh, and again, maybe you know, if if everybody was in the room together, like you know, because I know when we did it, I know you're still doing it, and it, and it's all mm. online. There's such a faff set it all up. It's just, I got, yeah, I, got I would patience, mate. You know what I mean? I'd rather sit down, read a book, watch telly, go to bed, yeah. even whatever. You know, <laughs> I, I would like to uh, to play in, in the room. You know, mm. um, so you know maybe at some point uh, can do that with with someone. But um, yeah, there's there's a lot to look forward to this year, and I'm sure as uh, you know things progress, we'll find yes. out about more. Stuff. Yes, indeed. So, um, well, and and we're going to be following all of that um, with, uh, with with our usual kind of blend of uh, random words thrown at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we will be. We're, we're going to obviously keep trying to get uh, you know exciting guests on the show. Yeah, and, we got know, some good ones lined up. S- see if we can uh, you know get any new series people on once, once that all starts. Have to see what we can do yeah, there. And that'd be cool. Yeah, and um, yeah, mm. we'll, we'll hopefully keep you entertained. Uh, alongside we'll try the, our best. The show. Mm. Yes, we'll we'll do that. So, we'll, uh, we'll bombard you with reviews, with commentaries, with um, with audio dramas, audio yep. books, and ramblings such as this in between times as much as as we can and as often as we can. Because why not? We love it, do we not, Jeff? Yeah, uh, we do indeed. We, yeah, I mean, we, we should it. actually be working today. We we were literally doing actual proper paid work. Um, yeah. <laughs> before we broke off and said, "Oh, let's do a podcast," you know, just for a laugh, just for lol. Why yeah. not? So on, on on that note, yeah, I probably should go and get, get all my back stuff to it, really. We, really? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, if if you're still listening now, which hopefully you are, let us know what you're looking forward to this year and what you kind yeah, of uh, hope definitely. might come out from from the world mm-hmm. of the Who universe. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening. If you haven't, by the way, check out our YouTube channel, uh, youtubecom yeah, at Who C Two C. Video versions of a lot of our. Uh, episodes on there and some, some exclusive um, uh, Magic the Gathering stuff that we put on there as well um, all sorts of bits and pieces so yeah go and give us a, a su- subscribe there we'll return the favour I think was that what one says give us a subscribe give us a, uh, like a subscription hit, is hit what like, gift to be given uh, well I don't they don't know. have to pay for it I don't know what um, the kids are saying these days no. <laughs> is that the parlance I don't, I don't know is that what they say is that on Insta Graham Tok Tok or something. I don't know. It's, it's um, yeah, pop, ticky, pop. In, t- ticky pop, Insta. Tick, yeah. Tick, 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 <laughs> whatever. We do have one of those, actually, don't we? Yeah, we do, yeah, but um, I haven't got anything on it particularly. No. <laughs> yeah. If anybody who knows TikTok wants to handle our TikTok channel, then get in touch because yeah, uh, that's probably know. what we need. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, can't manage that one as well. So, uh, no, yeah. No. See, Freya that, said she, she she would do it, but actually, she's got too much on with her A levels and stuff right now. So, yeah, that's so, fair yeah. enough. And her own yeah. TikToking efforts. So she's yeah, not going to do it for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, it's all fun and games, ain't it? Hey, oh, it's getting too old for this nonsense, Jeff. Well, oh, we've just... we've got plenty of years left. We in have us. indeed. Yeah. Plenty of years and plenty more episodes of Who Corner to Corner yes. coming your way, dear listeners. So thank you for listening and watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time on the podcast. Bye for now. See y'all later. Yeah. <laughs>